Greetings and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. <laughs> this is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal on the gaming industry today. Okay. I'm Fred Adams, joined by my comrades of carnage, <laughs> my brothers of bloodlust, Daniel Kaiser and Tony Grice. What's going on, guys? God, if your Not Tuesday much, man, hasn't started, it just did. <laughs> <laughs> Time to wake the fuck up. It's Tears Day. Tears Day, I tell you. <laughs> Tear obviously being the Norse god of war who was very, very popular what? until uh, Odin. Odin became the uh, the kind of the top dog in Norse mythology. Why does everything have to be so crushing and intense? Why can't it be like Tulip Day? Have you listened to the show before? Do you know what podcast you're on? <laughs> when did when did this turn into your daily Norse mythology <laughs> feedback Listen, or round week, table? On Norse, of course. When when Western civilization decided to name their days of the week after Norse gods, that's what it became every day as a Norse mythology day. He has a point. <laughs> All right. So today we are going to be uh, we're going to be taking on a question from Izzy. This is at hmm. Israel Pacheco eighty nine. Izzy from Guns N' Roses, or think. no? God, if we were only that lucky. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Izzy says, at Epic Battle Axe, if Capcom were to be sold, mm. which of the big three, Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft, would be the best fit? Mm -hmm. A fascinating query. Yeah. yeah Tony, is. what do you think? Um, I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I've actually... Th I've actually thought this for some time that I, I kind of feel like Capcom is in a position that, that would be maybe a good thing for them you know it kind of be like like i don't know frankly i think that they've sort of lost some of their luster over the few the, the years and i i've always thought they that say it would lost be, it they've they've shilled it away nickel and diming yeah. us for dlc that was already on the fucking disc <laughs> they uh but you know i i've always sort of thought in, in in the back of my head that i think the best fit for them so perfect for this question would be nintendo i agree 100 percent. the reason yeah the, yeah the, the reason i sort of think that is i think it's kind of mutually beneficial i think yep. nintendo even though nintendo has like the the, you, I think you honestly could argue the best set of original IPs that, you know owned by any company. Oh, I one could argue company. it. You want to argue about it? Come on. You think all of them? No, like, I'm just fuck, I'm just fucking with you. Go. But I also think that they need more content. Like they just they do yeah. sort of have that's all they've got, well, the, and, and they and need their some more IPs stuff. Tend to be very specific. Like like their IPs tend to t tend to. I, and I'm not I'm not tr I'm not saying this to to like be. Uh, I'm not saying this to dog a Nintendo. But in my opinion, their their franchises tend to like be relatively safe. Like they're right. very kind of like family friendly. Like we're trying to appeal to like the widest age range possible. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're yeah. all like a little. And you uh, gotta almost kind of give them. Nintendo's not as far away from them as some other companies too. So it's almost like it would give them a little bit broader reach yeah. than they've mm -hmm. got now. But it's also not so completely out of their wheelhouse. Yeah. That you know, and, and they've done they've done connections with you know the Resident Evil series being on their platforms before. Mm -hmm. They've you know they've had some stuff that was kind of edgier for them on those platforms but my just real quick my last little thing and, and i'll shut up is the Please. thing that i think <laughs> i think more than likely it would be microsoft would be the one to buy them because microsoft, microsoft is the microsoft only of these three likely? they're the most likely that would do it because they're really mm -hmm. the only company that frankly goes after companies and buys them nintendo rarely ever does yeah. sony really doesn't like they usually buy up small people before yeah. they've yeah. kind of released well, like games that's that are the sort of there, so, so. sony's already got sony's so so already entrenched in yeah. first party development, yeah, um, that that they don't really need to. I, I mean, like like if Sony, well, sees I, you something know, I, I don't even know if it need to is fair, but I, I mean, I, I think Microsoft is really the only one that's shown that they're willing to do that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. What do you think, DK? Uh, Nintendo, and because the question says the best fit, and for the reasons you listed, I mean, when I think Capcom, I look back, and, and the other thing is like considering, you know, um, you know, it, yesterday we were talking about the the consoles, like which ones would, would we prefer, which platforms or which device. And, you know, when I think back on the history of devices, you know, Nintendo and Capcom, obviously there's a lot of synergy there, even though also with Sony and PlayStation as for the franchises you guys mentioned with Resident Evil and stuff like that. But for me, you know, going into this new generation, it seems like we've kind of already seen modernized versions of the old school, you know, things, you know, things like uh, uh, Strider and, and, and you know, d d come in, um by on a command mm -hmm. you know we've we've kind of got the fulfillment of that and they were cool but they weren't like needed to be powered by the utmost next gen technology so for me envisioning capcom franchises on nintendo hardware as you said at the very top from uh, would be the most uh, beneficial for both parties if it were between capcom and nintendo so yes um 
to answer the question, you know, I think Izzy's uh, Izzy's point is that you know, in recent news, you know, you see y- uh, Yoshi retiring as as the head of Capcom Vancouver. They're kind of in flux. What's exactly going on? Will they be purchased? Um, and for me, it would it would make sense if Nintendo actually picked them up and then expanded their brand because they need to tap into larger audiences and different types of audiences as well. And those franchises, those those IPs by Capcom can help them achieve that goal. Who's that guy? I think it was like a like a PR or marketing rep from Capcom that we used to bag on all the time. What was it? Like Hans Christian or something like that? Oh, for Capcom? Yeah, Christensen or something like that. Yeah, you, yeah. you remember that guy? Is yeah. he still there? I believe he's still the community manager. Okay, so th- him, this, is, this is what I'm envisioning. What Nintendo could do... Mm-hmm. Because I agree with you guys. I we're, for once, this is this is like one of the rare oca- occasions <laughs> where we are all, in total all on the same page. But I, I I totally agree that Nintendo is the best fit for Capcom. But specifically, what would be great is if Nintendo did buy Capcom and they promoted that guy, whatever Hans Christensen or whatever his name is. They promoted him to the position of standing in front of this wall at Nintendo's main offices in Tokyo and getting beanbags thrown at him all day long. By what what is just, the name of that position? It's King Douchebag. <laughs> Company bitch, I think is what it's referred yeah. to as. Um, so anyway, if they were to if they were to do that, they would not only you know, they would not only engender some some appreciation from their fans, you know, maybe a little credibility, a little bit of trust with people. Uh, but seriously, to answer Izzy's question, I am in total agreement with you guys. Mm-hmm. Nintendo was the first answer that stuck out to me. It as as Tony and I think you echoed Daniel, it is a mutually beneficial or would be a mutually beneficial relationship. It would bring in the diverse and and patently I, I'm just you know unquestionably yeah. successful game series that that Capcom has under their belt into yeah. the Nintendo fold. There's the obvious n- nostalgia kind of connection. Yeah, uh, the the first place that I it, ever it's like, heard. Remember of, me. The first place I ever heard of Capcom <laughs> games was fucking, you know, Mega Man on the NES. Yeah, it, it would, would be like, like a Power Stone that they would have, you know. <laughs> Jesus. And Jesus. this is not their final fight. Trust Jesus me. God, stop it. Well, I mean, so between anyway. all those rival schools, they have an opportunity to, you know, oh, breathe the breath of fire and, and you know. Thank Maybe God these only last like <clears throat> 10 minutes now, because I swear. You know what they would need in order to make that deal happen, though? You know what I need right now? An ace attorney. Oh, my God. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> so, anyway, Izzy, uh, I was going to say more, but what's the point? I agree. <laughs> Nintendo's the best fit for Capcom. Uh, you get uh, you get all those game franchises coming to Nintendo. Nintendo would benefit from having all of those core gaming series under their belt and exclusive to their uh, to their systems, presumably. And uh, you get nostalgia and all the other great things that go along with it. Nintendo and Capcom are a match made in peanut butter chocolate heaven. Mm. So uh, thank you very much for sending that in. And if you have a question or a news story that you want us to talk about on a future edition of Epic Battle Cry, you know where to find us at Epic Battle Axe on Twitter, epicbattleaxe.com if you're a member of the Axe Head Army. You can also leave us a comment here on YouTube. Let us know what you think. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. We really appreciate all all the Do love it. and support. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new edition of Epic Battle Cry. Until then, cry havoc and let your voice be heard. You said peanut butter and chocolate, but have you ever had like peanut butter and fluff and butter? You know, fluff like the marshmallow. Fluff no, I, I I don't. I, I really I really don't know what that is, and I'm not sure I want to know. Oh, dude, you should look <laughs> it up. When I was a kid, it was always like peanut butter and fluff. Like it was like. Didn't you didn't you used to refer to your dog as fluffer nutter? Yes, I referred to my yeah. dog as a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I traced his lineage, Tony. Oh, and- <laughs> 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 Turns out that he comes from Scottish descent, and his name really? is McFluffin McBreeter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Marijuana is a hell of a drug. That kid. is a uh, <laughs> that is a throwback. <laughs>